comes at you, comes at you like a like a tidal wave. You've got to be careful when it gets to this bit. Well, hello there, perfect drafters. Are we in for a little treat? It's been a long time coming, this one. I think I've probably said that I was going to try this in three, four different videos. Never got round to it. There's a reason and a good one. It's a strong one. Yes, it is. I think it's probably one of two that are the strongest on the perfect draft. And I am apprehensive with it. In the end of the day, 10.5 pints is not a small amount to consume. I've just unloaded that bad boy. And it was a bad boy. It was good. It really was. And that was 6.5%. I don't think it tasted it. Very easy to drink. Quality little beer. If you haven't checked out my review of that, give it a go. But this one, this one sits in on the ABV scale at 8.4%. Yeah, that's a strengthy one. So I've just checked out the triple camulet one or camulet, however you want to say it. And that is 8%. So this at 8.4% is the strongest. I've heard some very good things about it though. Very good things. Apparently very smooth, very easy to drink, despite that ABV. But the other little gem, and it's less about the beer, more about the experience, is the glass that you have it in. And I have got that glass, glass and stand. A little bit concerned about it. Doesn't look a very easy one to pour into. So I think that's going to go pear-shaped, a little bit like the glass, which is a little bit pear-shaped. It has got a, a stand for it. Yeah, that's a, it's a manly pose, isn't it? It's got a stand for it. I don't think you're going to drink it like that in the stand. Yeah, it's just take it out, swill it away. I don't think this is a swiller. It is the quack. That's what we're talking about. It's from the Bostiles Brewery in Belgium in a place called Buggenhout or something like that. It's an old brewery. We're talking 1791, this little beauty came about. 1791. Even I wasn't born then. And it wasn't until its seventh generation of family did they decide to sell out to the InBev boys. That's who obviously now own it, hence the perfect draft linkage, the Bostiles Brewery. They actually brew the triple carmulet as well, so... They know about the strengthy Belgian beers, these boys. Um, could be girls as well brewing. Could be girls as well. But whoever is brewing these little babies, they're up in that ABV. So let's have a look at the quack on the Big Bold Reviews website. Here we go. One of the more pricey ones at £41.90. Not cheap. Not cheap. But then you fire one of these down in a pub. I do remember, and I think it was called... Barbara Sells or something in uh, in Leicester, across the road from the Orange Tree. Pretty sure it was. Maybe still is. I remember going in there, and I have had this before. I am talking a good decade ago. Gotta be. Gotta be at least. And I do remember having to hand over a crisp £10 note for deposit of the glass. Yeah. So I didn't lob it in the missus's handbag. In fact, I think I was single at the time. Maybe more than 10 years ago then. A little bit more than that. You, you, I wouldn't do that. I would not thieve a glass. So in that bar in Leicester, I do remember it was expensive back then. And if we are talking over a decade ago, I'm sure even after paying out the £10 deposit, obviously you're going to get that back. I'm sure it was around the £5 mark, even back then. And I don't even think it was a pint. I think that was like, well, it was in that thing. So I think that's half a pint. Pretty expensive back then. So if you think about that and think about the value of this on the perfect draft, we are looking, without any discounts and stuff, at 3 99 a pint. Not bad. 
obviously with all your discounts and stuff like that, you possibly could get it down to about £2.90 odd a pint. So there it is. Not bad at all. Calories, because of that stronger ABV, you are looking at over 405 calories per pint. Not one to be a friend of the waistline. But that's enough around the facts of it. I want to have a look at that keg. I want to do the pour into this glass. No Mickey taking because it could be a disaster. I want to then get a bit of suppage in, let you know what I think to it. Then I'm going to have some snackage. Got some snaffling pigs on the go. Let's do that. I'm looking forward to this. It's finally happening. Finally getting stuck into this quack. quack a doodle do. Let's go. So look at him. Look at this fella. I mean, he's got his hops and stuff springing out of his head. In fact, he ain't got a head. He's, uh, you know, springing out of his neck. He ain't got much of a neck. Look at him. But he's holding his quack. Don't know what he's going to drink it through. No mouth. But um, there it is. There it is. So I have seen a different design of this uh, this keg, where it's a bit green and just got quack on it. I'm glad I've got this one, because I like this fella. He looks all right. Yeah, there's the keg. Puel quack. Let's get stuck in. So, here we go. Someone's having a laugh. Look at this. Huh? Don't make it easy there. I mean, that, it's not gonna be easy. So, that's coming off there. There we go. Look at that. Situs, straight away. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the drip tray. That's coming off. Just because I can't rest it anyway. I mean that, this has got disaster written all over it. If, you're, if you've had a few, especially if you've had a few of these babies, it's game over, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. Not an easy glass to wash either. Always like to give a glass a wash, even if it's brand new. You know, getting into that, don't know if it's nucleated, it's got a bit of a bit of a pattern in there. But anyway, look at that. Here we go. Here we go, people. Let's go. Right, took me by surprise there. Springs up through that middle bit. Right, blind, eh? Huh? That's a disaster. Look at that. That's embarrassing. Smells all right. Anyway, I'm just gonna let that let that settle. I don't know how long that's gonna, well, how much have I got in there? Got a thimble full, huh? I mean, at this strength, you probably should shot it down, but. <sighs> Cut. Right, this is the longest pour in history. There, so it's settled a bit, you know, not done anything else to that. Let's get a bit more in here. You'll do. You'll do. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Bob it on the stand. There she blows. Look at that. Look at her. Look at that. What a shot. Quackers. Right, I'm going to bring her in. So there we go, perfect drafters. Look at her. There we go. I mean, I don't mind saying it. That's a sexy beast. Yeah. It really is. Just have a look at that. I mean, that is a dark amber colour. Lovely looking colour. Can't see any bubs. But and this kind of uh, this kind of beer don't really need it. Can't see any bubs. It's smelling good. I'm just not sure what it's going to be like drinking out of it. Mod depth. Don't know what that means. But hey, we get that a little bit of a top up because obviously you know do need a top up of this type of beer. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> so I'm not going to lean over and bring it in. I brought it in. And I am being cautious. Look at that. What can be said? Other than I've got no idea how to look good holding it, how to drink it, even start to. <sighs> right. Out with the stand. Looking nice and creamy on the old foam head. See the old bub going up. 
odd bubs flying, let's get stuck into this quack. Cheers, perfect drafters. Cheers. Oh. oh, oh, hello, hello, quack. What to say? I mean, you can taste it strong. You can taste it strong, but I'm thinking back to the other strengthy-age, strengthy-age, strengthy, punchy one that I've had so far, and that would be the Left Royale. Now, I wouldn't say this tastes that much stronger than that. Stronger, yes, but not that much. So this is 8.4. The Left Royale was 7.5. So a whole, well, virtually a 1% a ABV increase. And fairness, it probably does taste that. It probably does. But it's not so overpowering that it's undrinkable. It's very drinkable. Yeah, that is a drinkable pint. Not masses of carbonation, a little bit of a tingle on the tongue, but a pleasant one. The aftertaste for a high ABV drink is pleasant, very pleasant. I would go as far as to say more pleasant than the left aftertaste. That's what I'm saying on, you know, some of the, the higher ABV ones of those. I like that, I do. Yeah. As I taste a bit more of it, it's actually, it's saying to me, Baldy, I'm pretty easy to drink. I'm your friend. Let's get quacked. Yeah, that's quite easy. That's actually quite easy to drink. Far more easy than I thought it was gonna be. That's nice. And that glass isn't too bad. I thought, I thought I'm gonna have a nightmare. The only nightmare is, you know, if you lose that stand, you're holding that and you're whacking it down even faster because you're holding it all the time. Shiver me timbers, that, that's good. Don't know why it's shiver me timbers. That's more apt for the, uh, for the drunken sailor. I mean, I'm probably more gonna be like, more gonna be like, Probably gonna be more like a drunken sailor after this baby, but I like that. Is what is what size is this? Is it just a half pint or is it a pint? What is it? Can't see any kind of markerage on the glass. No markerage. Might be a bit of a deceptive one. I mean there is a bit of sweetness there, definitely. <clears throat> there is. More so than what I remember. But the aftertaste is absolutely delightful. It really is. It's like an angel's just floated down and kissed you on the tongue. It's a beauty. It's an absolute belter. Oh, that's too good. That's too good. Thinking about it, it isn't the strongest one on the perfect draft. It can't be because there's the ritual nine left which is obviously 9%, so not quite the strongest one. But I can't imagine of these higher ABV ones, anything being as smooth, as nice to drink, as easy to drink as that, with no aftertaste that's bad, but a nice aftertaste. Good levels of carbonation, not too much on it, but honestly, Oh, I mean, it's only got to take a couple in it before you're like, you know, got a bit of a smile on the old face. Yeah, it's dangerous. There is going to be many a lost night to this baby. Many a lost night. 
And I bet there has been. I mean, whew, just imagine if you're in Belgium and you're firing some of them babies down. Just imagine that now. That's what we need, people. We all need a trip to Belgium. Oh, that, um, that's a bit funny. As you get to this kind of, can only be classed as a bottleneck in the old beer, it gives, gives a bit of a boom, boom, comes at you, comes at you, like a, like a tidal wave. You've got to be careful when it gets to this bit. Mm. Careful. Got to be careful there. That, and it's now making that a bit lively again. What a little treat. It's like an experience, isn't it? It's like an experience. A good one. I'm happy I've had that on my week off because uh, you know, I'm not going to mad. I'm going to have a couple each night. I'm going to enjoy them. Enjoy them. Although, you know, I'm saying that, I'm firing that down because it is nice. It is good. Look at the clinging. This is what the perfect draft's about, people. Different experiences. Lovely bit of clingage to the glass. <sighs> Happy days. Right. Before I whack that last bit down, because I'm going to have that, and then I'm going to switch off the old camera and relax with another one. Before I do that, I'm going to pop that on the old clamp stand thing, and I'm going to fire down a bit of snackage. Absolute treat. Right. I probably should have fired down a loaf of bread with that to sup it up, but I'm not going to. Instead, I've got the smallest bag of pork scratchings that you can ever come across. But for review purposes, absolutely perfect. So what I've got here is the Snaffling Pig Company. It's from the Snaffle Pack, so you can get like, you know, a multi-pack of these little beauties. Pork crackling, ovs, ovs, come on. Not, I'm not 18, obviously. So... Pork crackling, low and slow barbecue flavour. That's what we've got. That's what we've got, people. No gump on the back. Only one little fact that they're made in Buckinghamshire. Well, there she blows. No eyelids, no lips, hopefully. Let's give them. Oh, yeah. That has got a bit of barbecue smell about it. That's smelling good. We always do. That doesn't look the most flavoursome of pieces. So I'm going to pop her back. I'll have her in a minute. But this one just caught my eye. Like I say, hopefully there's no eyelids winking at me in it. Let's have a go. Oh, straight away. Straight away. That's nice. They're good. Low and slow. Mmm. Oh yeah. I actually think straight off the bat, that is my favorite snaffling pig flavor so far. I've had the honey ones, I've had the pigs of doom, ridiculously hot, especially after a few. These are just pleasant. Mmm. Yeah. Win-win. Win-win again, people. <laughs> a very wise man said, tonight's going to be a good night. Here's to you, Will. I am. That, they go down a treat together. I can only say that since doing these reviews, some of my best, I've got to be careful what I say, obviously, because I am 40-odd, 40, 40 and, um, you know, I've obviously had some good experiences through my life, I've had some bad ones, but while I've been doing these reviews, I've shared some of my very best experiences when it comes to beer and snackage, that's my safety net, with you. And here's another one, because that 
is an absolute pleasure. If you've got a perfect draft, and I know I've said this before, but if you have got one, please experience this because that is amber nectar and not like that foster stuff. That is proper amber nectar. It really is. That's a delight. These are good. Let's forget everything. And let's say that after my experience of now, you know, 23, 24 kegs, not all in a week, I'm not an animal. If I was gonna get a three pack, no, let's go for a six. If I was gonna get six kegs to snaffle that 15% um, discount and, and all the kegs are in stock, so no one's doing this at the moment, but stock's coming back in. I'm getting a Crew Republic Drunken Sailor. I'm getting a Goose IPA. I'm getting a La Trap. There's three. I'm getting a Dark Arts. I'm not going to say about the Oktoberfest ones because they're, you know, in and out more seasonally. So I'm going to go for a Spate. Of, no, scrub that. I'm going to go for the Hertog. And I'm going to go for this. This gets my sixth slot, which isn't easy to say and would be even less easy to say after three or four of these, three or four of these. After two of these, it'd be harder to say. This gets my sixth slot in that 15% six kegage discount package that my yodel man, yodel, because he's a good old boy, is delivering to me. So that's it. After all of this is done, and after I've had to have the Corona, which I'm not looking forward to. And after I've had the Key Lime, again, not looking forward to it. It's going to be in my last selection of kegs. They're the six that I'm going to get. And I'm going to enjoy them. <sighs> because they're belters. They're absolute belters. But for me, right now, this... I'm happy. I'm happy with this. This, I am going to give a 10. <laughs> I'm just happy with it. I mean, admittedly, I'm probably in the euphoria of having a week off. I've banged in a keg of quack. I've got some snaffling pigs. You know, I might be getting carried away, but... And I'm, I, you know, I've got the experience of this glass as well. But... I'm going to give that a 10. And these, these snaffling pig company, I can't believe I've got a snaffle pack because I want a big pack. I want a big boy bonus pack of these because they, these slow, low and slow barbecue pork crackling from the snaffling pig, they're immense. I'm going to give them a 9.5. So that's good, isn't it? That's good. Out of 20, we've got 19.5. <sighs> Happiness, people. So what I'm saying to you is, have a cracking weekend. I hope it's a belter. I really do. And enjoy. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Please give this one a like. Check out the Big Bold Reviews website. But for now, perfect drafters. And I can't take a big old swig of this when I say it. You've got to be careful when it gets down to the bulbous bit at the bottom. But for now, perfect drafters, what I'm saying is this. Cheers. Have a good weekend. Cheers.